Melby, the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, we've got a good matchup ahead between the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Coming to the plate now, Rymel Tapia, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Should be a picture perfect afternoon for baseball. 78 degrees at first pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone to open up the ball game. Striding in for the Rockies, Daniel Murphy. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. High ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Hopped up. And there's out number two. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado, hitting 500 in the series so far, four for eight. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. Only one strike away from throwing a very strong first inning to begin the... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Into the box now, Starling Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The three and one pitch. Slap hard the opposite way. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So it's a good start to the inning for the Diamondbacks. Lead off hitters aboard. Stepping in now, Nick Ahmed. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. So now to the plate, Patel Marte into the corner and slicing foul. Marte on second, Ahmed on at first with nobody out. This is on the ground over to first. To second for one, on to first, and it's a well-turned 3-6-1 double play, and quickly there are two gone. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, David Peralta. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Ready with the 1 1. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. Into the box now, Eduardo Escobar popped him up. Hampson is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So next, it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies, Charlie Blackman, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Down low, two balls and a strike. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. David Dahl will be next. Called strike and that'll run it full. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. In now for Colorado, David Dahl. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Hit back up the middle. Ahmed fields it cleanly. One there. On to first, and they get them both. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in to hit next, shortstop Trevor Story. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance.
Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep, too. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Ready now for the Diamondbacks, Christian Walker. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The one two. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Walker is retired, and there's one away. Stepping into the box, Stephen Vogt. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hildemaro Vargas is on deck. And that's low ball four. Up next for Arizona, Hildemaro Vargas. His prior history versus this arm. He's a perfect two for two. Grounded back up the middle. Story scoops it up. There's one on the first, and that's two innings and two double plays they've hit into so far as the inning is over. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. Nine at bats in the series and four base hits. Just hung in there on that one. Fouled off. Hit high and deep to left field. Peralta going back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Stepping up to the plate, Dom Nunez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One out, nobody on. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find that the zone not. on a three two the pitch. Yeah. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Jeff Hoffman. The 1 1 home. Chopped at the plate, but it gets foul. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes. The hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. And there's the first hit of the game for Colorado. Up next for Colorado, the center fielder. Standing in now, Rymel Tapia. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Bottom of the third now. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Diamondbacks, Zach Gallen. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hit to third. Arenado's got it. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Here's Starling Marte. Second at bat here. He reached via a single to lead off the home first. Not an easy thing to do when you're in the leadoff spot, but that was a good piece of hitting in his first at bat, an opposite field base hit, which leads me to believe that this guy's going to cover both sides of the plate. Up next to the diamond bat. No field stop. Yeah. To the plate now, Nick Ahmed. Marte off for second. That's a strike to throw down. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. 
And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. The center fielder, number four, Patel. At the plate, Patel Marte. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the run is Tapia. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's a 2 0 ball game. Now at the plate, David Peralta, runner in scoring position with Sudan. The 2 1. Swing and a drive to right by Peralta. This one's got some carry. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. In now, Eduardo Escobar. On a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there. And it's two and two now. Woo, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third. And no swing. It's ball three. Drives it out to deep right center field. Blackman looking up. And it's out of here. Back to back. Two out home runs. Stepping in now, Christian Walker. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. To two and two now. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. Blackman is under it, and that ends the inning. Here's Daniel Murphy now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And he fouls this one off. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Daniel Murphy goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. So a runner at first with one man gone, and that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. Now the 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And it's fouled away. Popped up. Escobar camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. David Dahl to the plate now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Dahl. 
Two and one to David Dahl. Three and one to the Rockies left fielder. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Stephen Vogt. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. All even at two and two. Here it is. Fly ball out toward left center field. Waiting on it is Dahl. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Stepping into the box to the Morrow Vargas as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Yeah he's not quite as powerful from the left side. He's certainly not Chipper Jones who had pop from both sides of the plate. Much more pop hitting right handed. Throw to Murphy's in time and there are two gone now. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Zach Gallen. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. 1 1. That's the ball. Two balls, one strike. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. full count. Line drive base hit. The right fielder, number two. Starling. So now to the plate, Starling Marte. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Count still full, three and two. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is going to find the gap for his third hit of the afternoon. This one for extra bases. And add one more as this is now a 6 0 ball game. Jairo Diaz answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. Into the box, Nick Ahmed fouled off. Six runs, nine hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Hit on the ground out to short. Scorey picks it up. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. The recipient of a National League Silver Slugger Award for his contributions at shortstop last year. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air. And a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone. Into the box now, Garrett Hampson. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And he looks at ball four now, so he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. And there's ball two now. 
I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Oh, forget about this one. Bob, Bob, buoy. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. To the plate now, Jairo Diaz. Rockies pitcher with a bat in his hands and a one and two count. And he fouls this one off. Now another one. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Rymel Tapia. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Three runs, three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. And that misses two and two. Now for four innings, he was great. But here in the fifth, he looks like a completely different guy out there. That happens a lot when a pitcher is facing batters for the second or third time in a game. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Now in the box, Cattel Marte earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's out number one. Coming to the plate now, David Peralta. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. Yeah, now this guy flexed his muscles in that last at-bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. The 2-2 is swung on and missed. He got him. Eduardo Escobar standing in. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And that last at that when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Now back up, first baseman. At the plate now, Christian Walker. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. At the plate, Stephen Vogt. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he is in the second with a two out double. The batter number 15. Second baseman, Bill DeMarco. Vargas. In now, Bill DeMarco Vargas. 1 1 pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Here now the 2 2. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Number one. Two men are on with two men out. And he'll watch the fastball miss down low. It's two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Three and one. 
it's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one. And he's put him into another great hitting count. And he misses again. Up ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys oh, now that have reached base via the base on ball. Here's the one-one. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. One and two. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Blackman's after it. He can't get to it. This one's down. One run is scored. Jake now McGee back. gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least beat a couple of innings for his guys. Now pitching for Colorado, number 51, Jake McGee. Into the box, Nick Ahmed. Grounded weakly toward third. Throw in time, and they stop the bleeding as this side is retired. Merrill Kelly takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Here's Nolan Arenado. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the six. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 1 pitch. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ballgame. And here's a curveball looked at. Strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Now batter. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, David Dahl. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. This is line to left. In there, a base hit. Now that the football. Standing in now, Trevor Story. And he misses with that one. Ball four. And that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. Number one. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Standing in, Dom Nunez. And he's coming off a two run homer his last time around. That last at bat, that showed me something. It's not that easy to hit a changeup over 400 plus feet out of the ballpark so this guy gets some good extension and the shortstop is under it to make the play retiring the side bottom of the sixth inning now striding in once again Cattel Marte And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. At the plate, David Peralta. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Hit hard, but this will be a foul ball. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. 
So here's Eduardo Escobar. Eduardo Escobar. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Ready to take his hacks again. Christian Walker as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Line drive, base hit to right. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting, Hector Steven. To the plate now, Steven Vogt fouled away. McGee comes set. Here's the one and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Josh Fuentes is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Josh Fuentes. Well hit to right, but foul. Here now the 2-2. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. So the Rockies lineup turns over and to the plate. Rymel Tapia. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one. Hitless to this point. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Count remains two and two. And now pitch on the way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peralta is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Daniel Murphy steps in now. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The one two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. for the traditional Carlos Estevez comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Last half of the seventh here, stepping in and ready for another shot, Hildemaro Vargas. Outside, two and one. And it's fouled away. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Reined in. And that's the first out. Tim LaCastro will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Yeah. This is popped up near second base. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. So striding forward now, Starling Marte. And he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Kevin Ginkle has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 37, Kevin. Ready for another chance? Nolan Arenado. It was a walk in his last trip. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, You've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And he will make.
take it there as the Rockies are in business right away. It's a leadoff double. Number 19, Charlie Blackman. Stepping in now, Charlie Blackman. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Now the three and two pitch. Line hard toward right center. And this is going to split the uprights and head toward the pool for extra bases. And the runner from second is in to score. Now that the left fielder, David Dahl. At the plate now, David Dahl. Liner toward right center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And to score, the runner from second. Now back, football. Trevor Story. Into the box now, Trevor Story. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. The 3 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. So one gone for the Rockies here in the eighth. And up steps Garrett Hampson to bat. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. As a look, now the pitch. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Hit the other way out toward right field. After it is Marte. He gets there, and that's the second out. At the plate, Dom Nunez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Dom Nunez. Lifted in the air out to left field. Peralta is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Wade Davis will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Tony Walters will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Now pitching and batting nine, number 14, Tony Walton. 1-1. Hard hit toward the hole. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. The center fielder, number four, Patel. In now, Patel Marte. Hey. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Now the payoff pitch home. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, David Peralta. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few A-Bs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. The 2-2 one more time. Fouled off. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. James Pazos answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Eduardo Escobar will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Racing back the left fielder, still ranging back. And this one is gone, a home run. Standing in now, Christian Walker. 
Well thrown sinker that time down but in the strike zone. Pazos is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh and he can't come up with it. Throw to Murphy's in time and there are two gone now. In now, Stephen Vogt. He's working on a one for three thus far. Three runs already home here. And right into the shift. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. The batter number 15, second baseman. At the plate, Ildemaro Vargas. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another 2-2 offering. Now on 3-2 and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. The 3-2 one more time. Breaks as bad as this one's popped up. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. That'll bring up Tony Walters and his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. The one two. This is flared out towards second. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So the lineup flips over and digging in Rymel Tapia looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Now with the plate, Daniel Murphy struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. The 3 1. There's ball four. Now batting Nolan Arenado. One for two in the ball game thus far. Nolan Arenado. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Last strike now for Colorado. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. Two balls, two strikes to Nolan Arenado. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that. 13 to 5 at the end of all the action. The Diamondbacks scored a lucky 13 in this one. Zach Gallen earns the win his second. Jeff Hoffman struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. the ball game four hours and 16 minutes thank you for joining us here this afternoon and we remind you to please drive home safely